Everyone has a habit. My habit is smoking on this bridge and watching the world pass by. The most significant thing is, this is where I first met my girlfriend, Mia. Since then, I've come here every day. Actually, I have to call her ex-girlfriend now. Today's June the 12th. We split up on the first of this month, which was 12 days ago. To be exact, it's 12 days, 7 hours and 39 minutes ago. It feels like it's going to rain soon. I don't know if she has an umbrella with her, or maybe there's another guy holding an umbrella for her now. The weather is so hard to predict, just like people's thoughts. You don't know when it's going to rain, and you don't know when someone no longer loves you either. Since the day I was framed up by my business partners, I became more and more gingerly. Every time before going out, I have to make up heavily. Wear a pair of sunglasses and a wig. I thought people could hardly recognize me like that. However, I can still nose out someone is stalking me all the time. They are dangerous. Mira always said to me, everything will expire someday. I didn't truly understand what she meant, but now I think she was right. Normally, yogurt expires half a month after it has been produced. Since the day Mia left me, every day I've bought a carton of yogurt that expires on the 16th of June, because yogurt is Mia's favorite food. I told myself the day I've got 15 cartons in my fridge and Mia still hasn't come back to me, our relationship will have expired, just like the yogurts. I became cold and detached. Because you will never know if the stranger in front of you will change into your enemy in the next second. Excuse me. Have you got any yogurt set that expired the 16th of June? Fifty. Hey, hey. It's, it's gonna expire tomorrow, okay? Like, it's still good today. Like, why do you people do this? You waste the food. I'm down, man. I won't get the second time. You'll take action Fuck you. Finally, I found the last carton I needed in a small convenience store just before midnight. Tomorrow is coming and all that yogurt is going to expire and Mia still hasn't come back to me. Perhaps in Mia's mind I'm no different than yogurt. I decided to eat all the yogurt. Otherwise it would have been a waste of food. Fortunately, Mia's favorite food isn't durian. Quite sick eating all that yogurt. But in a way, I'm happy. 
I still have the memories and today's a good day to start fresh. I needed fresh air. Mia is probably asleep by now, but what about other Mias in this world? If I go out right now, would I meet another Mia? Who knows? That's strange. I mean, I've never seen a beautiful girl like you eating yogurt on the street before. It's funny. It's strange. Hello? Do you speak English? Hello? Bonjour. Ni hao. Shut up. You do speak English. And I was beginning to think you're ignoring me. Do you want to smoke? Yeah, it's yours, I know. You hit someone on the bridge earlier, didn't you? It was you. Do you think you should say? Sorry for hitting me, and thank you for returning your cigarette case. It's yours now. Is that a smile? You look gorgeous from this now. Yeah, let me take a photo. No, dog. Yes, please, no. come on. <laughs> Got you. I still remember everything in detail about the first time I met Mia. I'm not sad anymore. I do love her. Someone once told me, life is like a train. People get on and people get off. Every moment with your passengers should be treasured. Because you never know which passenger will get off halfway. And who's going to stay with you to the terminal.